Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is another upper body workout targeting your chest and your shoulders. Let's dive in. What up guys welcome back to another video right now it's about middle of october october 19th to be exact 2022 i'm working with a coach right now a bodybuilding coach with the intention to compete next year he said that i'll probably be ready by april or march at least for my first show so my intention is and what i'm going to do for you guys a lot of my videos coming out over these next couple of months are really just going to be walking you through my workouts and walking you through the different lifts that i'm doing talking to you about how to do them properly and also how my body is progressing. The reason I'm doing this and I'm gonna document these workouts for you is because when everything starts to uh, get bigger as far as my channel goes, my Instagram, all that stuff, a lot of people are gonna look back and they'll be like, dude, what did you do? So I'm gonna document this whole process so you can look back on these videos and literally follow the workouts that I'm doing to get from where I'm at right now to where I will be when you see footage and content of me on stage. If you want to transform your body, you can literally follow these workouts that I'm doing on YouTube for free to the T with instruction and you will see massive results. A lot of people don't have much experience or don't lift properly or to the proper intensity or technique. So again, with the documenting of these videos, you're going to see the step-by-step -step process about how I'm going about this. I talk a lot about diet too. I am on a very tailored regimented nutrition program, but I'm also making videos on those. So what you can look forward to, not only in these next couple of videos, but really a whole series is understanding the progression that I'm having through my workouts. And then I will make more educational stuff for you guys as well. Understanding the nutrition and some of the finer points of when it comes to bodybuilding, because honestly, I'm just learning myself too. I appreciate you coming along the journey with me. I know that you will learn a lot because I do have a lot of experience and knowledge to share. And again, I'm learning a ton more each day. And today's workout is another variation. It is phase three of my program and today is a chest and shoulder workout that we're going to walk you through so let's go ahead and get started for the first workout that we're doing we're going to do a seated machine incline press i prefer the plate loaded variation although you can easily find any incline press machine to exercise the upper part of your chest in really any gym. This is a fantastic exercise to develop what are called the anterior deltoids or the front part of your shoulder and obviously the upper part of your chest as well. When you're working your chest, you really wanna make sure you're doing a couple of things. First thing is you want to retract your scapulas. What that means is you wanna pinch your shoulder blades together and make sure that your chest is puffed up the whole time. If you notice at the top of these reps, I'm not caving my chest in, my chest is staying puffed up towards the sky for each repetition. Another thing that you want to make sure that you're doing when you are doing any type of chest pressing exercise is making sure that you're opening up the range of motion in your shoulders. I usually do this personally by foam rolling some of my lats and really taking a band and kind of opening up around my shoulders doing some different mobility drills. The next exercise we're moving on to, this is a seated chest fly. Super common machine as well. One thing when you're setting this machine up that I see a lot of people either put the seat too high or too low. You wanna set the seat up so when you grab the handles, your chest and your hands are in alignment. In other words, your hands come right across the middle of your chest or the nipple line. And again, just like any other chest exercise, you wanna retract the scapulas, meaning you're squeezing the shoulder blades together and you can see Right now I'm getting a good squeeze and pump on my chest because my shoulder blades are squeezed together and my chest is puffed up to the sky. You really want to make sure on the chest fly that you move out wide because what you're working is the side chest and you want to feel a little bit of stretch at the end or the beginning of the contraction. So there's the squeeze, just a little rest period here, getting myself ready for the next set. Don't be afraid to do this either if you need to take some time to really get yourself mentally before the next set. Don't hesitate to do so. You wanna make sure you go into every set with full intensity and focus. So next exercise we're moving on here is we're gonna do a dumbbell lateral raise working the outside of your shoulders 
also called your uh, medial deltoids. So what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a little warm up exercise. I took really light weights and held them out just to have what is called an isometric contraction. So I'm just kind of opening up and activating that part of my shoulders. And now you can see I'm moving into what are called my working sets or the sets that I'm really making sure that I'm squeezing the outside of my shoulders. I personally have a tendency to activate my traps or my upper back muscle too much. So you can see me right now even rehearsing the movement. So I've got a light weight and I'm just rehearsing the movement to make sure that I'm activating the outside of that shoulder. The Actually the guy that you can see on the screen to my right and on the left of your screen, I had a little chat with him, kind of funny. And I was asking him, this guy has huge shoulders. And I was like, hey man, you know what? are you kind of doing for your shoulders I always have trouble activating this and that's kind of a note too guys when you're at the gym don't be afraid to go and ask people to you know give you some tips or some helps or some you know pointers or whatever even though I've been a trainer forever I've done this exercise a million times just by having a little chat with this guy I ended up having a great great shoulder pump and learning a few different techniques that we were talking about the irony is you might be intimidated to go and talk to somebody at the gym because they're super in shape but the crazy thing is, like I said, the ironic part is that the most fit, most in shape people are actually the most helpful and nicest people because they've been through the grind so they know what it takes to get there and they're uh, willing to impart their knowledge. Don't hesitate to go make a friend, ask somebody. Um, you know, some people, sure, they might be a dick, but most people are pretty cool at the gym. So this is the next exercise here. I'm starting up with a lightweight. This is the Arnold shoulder press named after the Terminator himself. Uh, this is a great, great shoulder exercise that really works all three heads of the shoulder. So it works the front, the interior, it works the side, which you just saw me doing the lateral raises, the medial delt, and then also the posterior delt. What you want to do is just make sure you're having a smooth twisting motion and doing full range of motion on that exercise as well. For the arm portion of the exercise, we are going into a push day, obviously, is what we've been doing. These are dumbbell skull crushers. Uh, for me personally, God, these are killers on my tricep. So what you'll see me doing here is I started out with a warm-up set doing both arms, but I know that I'm getting fatigued and I need to isolate and really focus on my form and technique. So I switched to doing one arm so I can use my other arm as a support. What this does is make sure that I'm nailing in that really good technique and then also I can give myself a little bit of an assist and a spot when I'm really getting stuck because I'm, I'm pushing it man I'm trying to grow my arms right now so you can see my opposite arm is really holding my elbow in place so that I'm getting a full extension on my tricep I'm controlling each repetition and then when it starts to get really tough which you'll see here in a second I'm able to kind of give myself a little bit of an assist just to make sure that I'm maintaining the form and really activating and isolating that muscle yeah, there you go. squeezing out every repetition you always want to make sure you extend all the way to the top especially on tricep exercises we go back and switch in the arm so I'm trying already you can see I'm fatigued in my elbow my arms kind of rocking so again that's why I'm doing single arm is to hold myself in place I'm kind of getting stuck here giving myself a little bit of an assist so I can get that full contraction I have a second tricep exercise written out in my program right now this is an overhead tricep extension one thing you want to do when you're doing this particular one that I'm noticing that I'm actually not doing is I'm flaring my elbows out you actually want to keep them rotated inward and forward keep your elbows narrow but that's the exercise or the workout for today guys this is a, a good push workout this is the second phase of the cycle that I'm in right now my coach has got me rotating through you can see the repetitions so follow good technique and all the way through and you will see gains and strength with this workout the next couple of videos you want to watch are definitely the leg day workout and the back and bicep workout so that you have a full workout split to follow. You also want to watch the videos on how much protein you need to eat in order to build muscle and how many calories you need to eat in order to either lose weight or build muscle. I break down everything in detail so you can literally, again, follow along with my workouts and understand your own nutrition as well and you can build the body of your dreams just by putting together the information in the videos that I have for you guys. So I appreciate you watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, share this video, leave any comments, and I'm always happy to connect with you and answer any questions you have. So we'll see you next time. Peace.